And now for your main event introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell Jr., Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Derek Clearly, Sally Amato, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This championship bout is sponsored by P3, the official protein <laughs> snack of the UFC. GovX, brought to you by GovX. If you have a military or first responder background, get ultimate deals on the gear you love at GovX.com. Also brought to you by Godzilla vs. Kong in theaters and on HBO Max this Wednesday, rated PG-13. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 263 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Paris, France, and Bhatti Cameroon, presenting the number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world, the challenger, Francis the Predator Ngannou! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 234 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves. Mm. Let's do it. <clears throat> Well, they say the Kentucky Derby is the fastest, most exciting two minutes in sports. I'm pretty geeked for uh, these next two My minutes My hands here. are shaking. I'm so sweaty right now. <laughs> I get so nervous when these big fights happen. These title yes. fights, man, are the best. And this is the biggest of the big. This yes. is the heavyweight title and the scariest contender against the greatest sure. champion. Oh. Ready, fight. Let's see how this starts. Nemirov, oh, bold goodness. character since 1872. Ingano is in white. Miocic is in the black and gold befitting a champion. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. I mean, the tension in here. Already is seeing a more patient Francis Ngannou. Beautiful low kick. And you do not want to get kicked with those legs. The size difference is very evident. Yep. But with all that muscle comes a lot of oxygen requirements. So if this fight gets into the deeper rounds, you can see fatigue playing a factor. Body shot from Ngannou, a lot of pressure on both of these coaching staffs tonight. The smaller octagon could play a big factor here, and it looks so small with these two giant guys inside here. It doesn't leave much room for error, man. It's so much different. It really, really shows itself in the heavyweight fight. Yes, it is 30% smaller. Steve Bay trains at a 24-footer, as he told us, D.C. and Cleveland. You this can is tell. 25. Oh! Oh! Steve Bay took that, though. 
That's a, that's a win for Miocic. Incredible. Francis landed. Clean. We don't see many people take that from Ngannou. But look, Ngannou's patient. He landed Not that shot. Right. And he's being patient. He talks about his evolution as a fighter. Early shot from Stipe. This is big. This is a big Oh, this is actually big. Take down the fist by Ngannou. Wow. Big improvement. Big actually did the right thing on the defense. He was able to. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Big ground strikes here. Stipe in one of those trouble. Real trouble. Oh, huge win. Miocic. Able to survive for now. No, this, hey, but this is not smart by Ngannou, trying to wrestle offensively. Wow, that was much improved defense by Francis Ngannou. And then back to being patient. That was, that's, that's big. Yes, that's a very big improvement. Francis was able to cover the head, get his shoelaces back. That was beautiful. Oh, big kick from Ngannou out of the South Boston. Wow. With all these big actions, right, if Stipe can survive, it's still a matter of trying to get the fight longer. But boy, Francis has started fast and good. But he's being patient. Yes, measure. Even though he's starting fast, he's taking big gaps in between these yep. big moments. Rest. Yes. It's like a football game, right? Big play, long time in between yes. the plays. But his mouth is open right now. He's breathing out of his mouth. But he's got to preserve this energy, right? Yep, he's got to take his time. Because right now he's doing great, right? He's winning the first round, and Stipe hasn't really figured out how he's supposed to attack and approach it. I'd like to see him go back to that low calf kick again as well. Stipe's only thrown a handful of strikes thus far. Five of them has landed them all. But exercising a lot of patience here. Three and a half minutes in. He's setting up that big kick off the left leg again. This is a very measured pace, though. Huh? You know, the thing about the first fight was that it was frantic early. And so Francis ran out of energy. But this pace, where they're not throwing that much, and they're just exchanging big strikes, I feel like Francis could go long yes. at this pace. Yes. It's also the adrenaline dog. You got to wonder, in the first fight, it was a big factor. Has he prepared himself psychologically for that, for this fight? There it is. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Everyone in here watching with bated breath, as quiet as it's been in here all night, seemingly. I feel like I want to mute my thing because I feel like people can hear my heart rate. It's just pumping so fast. I feel like they can hear it through my microphone. See, my heart's beating so fast. Yeah, my, my heart's pounding. <laughs> There's so much tension in the air. It's kind of scary, actually. Like, are we okay? Well, if you bet on either fighter to get it done in round one, it's time to rip up those tickets. Five minutes in the camp. All right, breathe. Breathe in and out. In and out. Alex, you hold this. Good. In and out. Get that air. Let me see your mouthpiece. You're doing good. All right, hey, we got to get our offense up a little bit. Okay, you got to get a little more speed. Like, look at you got everything's got to be a little bit more explosive, okay? He's, he's moving. He's following you around nice, okay? I think that really good. Gonna... Here's a big right hand that opened things up. Look at this. Boom. I mean, clipped him right on the side of the head. Steve Bay just ate it. And here is the takedown defense. And this was a big moment in this fight. Huge moment. Francis took his back, landed some heavy, heavy shots. I mean, this is a big, big moment. These are enormous punches. But it just shows you the power, or excuse me, the ability to absorb power shots that Stipe has. Stipe has a tremendous chin. He does. I mean, Francis landed on him. Big shots. Big shots. Stipe's left well, eye seems to be bothering him considerably. There was a wince when the cut man, Rob Monroe, tried to attend to it. 
So we will keep an eye on that. Round two is underway. Boy, you can hear the corner of Ngannou saying, patient, patient, patient. And Stipe's corner telling him he's got to get the offense going a little bit. Oh, I like that with the jab and then yep. off the low kick. Nice advance there by the champion. Absolutely. Now Miocic has to enter the fire a little bit in order to force Francis to fight him. And Francis has got to be careful to not load up and leave these big openings. Oh, knockout for That's as nasty as it oh, ever gets. Oh my goodness. Stipe is trying to get up, but they're oh, trying to stop him. Oh, they gotta him. stop him from they getting up. They gotta stop him from getting up. He's gonna fall down. So, oh. in UFC appearance number 13, Francis Ngannou finally oh, breaks just... through and becomes the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. This and fight replay is brought to you, sorry Joe, by Never Off Bold Character since 1870. clearly learned all the lessons from the first fight and, and came back brilliantly in the second fight. He that dropped was him with a jab, that step was in leg jab. With the lead hand. Yeah, and then swarmed on him, had him in big, big trouble, hit him with that uppercut, and, and look at that, Steve Bay fired back. That was the worst and thing that could have happened for Boom. Steve Bay, Joe. That was the worst thing that could have happened for yeah. Stipe. Stipe landed and thought he hurt him back. When he lands his power jab up the middle, he drops Miocic. When they're, when they're throwing here, Miocic feels like he hurts him. So then he goes, okay, I can go. Look at this. Short left hook that just drops him. So short. Lights. I mean, so short. short. Perfect left hook. Look at this again. Look at this left hook. Boom. Oh, my Perfect. goodness. Perfectly placed. His leg, he falls back over his leg, and then he gets to take an extra one. It was over. Look at that. The fight's over. Stipe's done. Stipe's done. Amazing technique, amazing oh. composure by Francis. Showed all the lessons from that first fight. Learned it, came back with an A+. Plus. Joe, calm Francis is the scariest human being <laughs> on the planet. He's so <laughs> scary because he has a tremendous chin. Not just tremendous power, enormous guy, but with that man, Eric Nixick, with Dewey Cooper, with all the guys that he trained with oh. at Extreme Code Tour, he's learned. You and now he's the heavyweight champion. Yeah, you got to credit those coaches. Eric Nixick, <laughs> chief among them. A lot of people wonder, DC, if Ngata should be out trying to get grappling repetitions, put in the right work, listen to his coaches, and got it done with the power tonight. The official decision is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate can save you money on your monthly mortgage payment. Visit rate.com to get started. One final time tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator Engano.